So it is a perfectly clear sunny day. It's not even hardly windy at all right now. And we have near perfect solar conditions. So I wanted to do a quick review of this Loveknit 100 watt foldable solar panel here. It's very similar to the Solar Saga 100 panels that you get from Jackery. And there's another one that I really, really like called the X-Tar, which I have another video on. Uh, but this has also been a very good panel so far. So I just want to show you how well it performs. It's going to be charging this EcoFlow River Max right here. I've got it discharged uh, down to 66%. So that way we can get as much solar that will go into it going into it. This has an MPPT charge controller. So we should be getting pretty close to ideal output out of the solar panel. I just want to show you how well this goes. And maybe it's something that you'll find interesting and helpful. Now, normally the solar panels that are like this come with an eight millimeter barrel connector, but this one is a little different. It has an Anderson power pole connector, which is far more common and in my opinion, better because the eight millimeter barrel connectors are generally used on the Jackeries as well as the older Blue Eddy systems. And those are decent systems, but this having the Anderson power pole connector allows it to be much more versatile and be connected to systems like the EcoFlow River Max. Now this is an 18 volt panel and right now I've got it propped up. It's got fold out legs on the back of it. And right now we are getting 81 watts of solar power out of it, which is actually really good. Generally speaking for solar panels, as long as they're making at least 80% of their rated output, they're considered a good solar panel. It's exceptionally rare that you'll get 100% of the rated output. So since this is getting 81% out of it right now, it definitely goes in the thumb up category. Now it's very portable. It's got magnets here built into the handles. So it folds up very easily and then stays closed together. It's got grommet holes on the corner if you wanted to hang it up. And then you can see it's got these legs as well as a fabric here that is non-adjustable, but it makes it set to about 45 degrees, which is generally an ideal angle for solar panels. Then it's got this pouch right here, which opens up all the way and you got your small user manual. You got a bunch of different connections of barrel ports. And then you got your main power cord that comes off, which goes to this 5.1 millimeter barrel connector which then goes to this Anderson power pole connector. So you can use the Anderson power pole connector as a direct connector for this, or you can swap it out for any of these other barrel connections here, which makes it much more versatile than other similar solar panels. Now, one of the coolest things is it has this built-in mini charge controller. It's got a USB-A and a USB-C connection, and each one of these ports is rated to 15 watts of output. So it works really good for a tablet or for a phone or ham radio or something like that if I needed to get uh, something like that charged up. So all in all, it's a very simple, very clean, very good solar panel. And they're a decently fair price for what these solar panels typically go for. They're more affordable than the Jackery Solar Saga 100 solar panels. And you can make them work with the Jackeries just fine because of those barrel adapters that come with it. So really it's a very basic solar panel but it gets the job done. You can charge your equipment directly off of it or connect it to something like this and get more than an 80% efficient output. So in that regard, it's definitely a good solar panel. So if you're interested in getting this Lovenit 100 watt folding solar panel, I'll have links down below. If not, you can go to poweredportablesolar.com and check out the other options that are there. But all in all, it's definitely a good panel and I give it a thumbs up. So thank you for tuning in. Be prepared, have solar, have backup power, have what you need at hand because the supply chains are a total gamble right now. So thank you so much for tuning in. Be prepared. I'll see you on the next video.